Welcome back to my channel guys. So today I'm going to be doing a new setup in my pocket planner, which has been getting a lot of attention lately. If you do not know, I kind of hybrided my Filofax pocket into a ring and string planner, mainly because I wanted to have the both of the things that I like in one place. So the best of both worlds. Um, I swatched out some notebooks and changed out a few of the inserts and definitely put 2020 in here. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look. So I'm just using these pens that I bought like a couple of years ago. They're the Bic Click Stick um, pens. This is in the color purple. I do apologize for that blurriness. There we go. So this is in the color purple and then I'm also using the one in blue. I just think that colored pens are so much better than black and blue ink, um, but I definitely do keep black and blue ink just for conveniences of writing or signing documents. So if you can kind of tell, my notebook has definitely swatched out. I've actually uh, put in my sequence notebook that I was housing in my um, um passport tn i took out the let's notebook because i just kind of want to use what i have part of my whole problem is i use a little bit of something and then i stray away from it and then i never go back to it and then i end up throwing every piece of it away and that's not cool i mean it's been a lot of money on these things so you definitely want to use the things that you have versus buy new stuff, to say the least. So I went ahead and put that notebook into my rings. I was using it for um, bullet journaling because in my in my uh, passport size, it did not have calendar inserts at all. So primarily what I was using it was like, a calendar tracker weekly and I used it I mean it was in my passport TN so I definitely used it and I definitely enjoyed using it this paper is really good it's one of those little flex notebooks so you can bend it any kind of way I definitely did like daily sheets in here although I kind of fell off a little bit but I did do like daily sheets in here and then I put September's calendar in here, but I just never used it for weekly or daily planning. So my idea is, because I already have calendar inserts in here, is to use this as my catch-all notebook. It kind of takes up from me having three notebooks in here, so now I just have two. So this one is like my catch-all and it's grid, so my favorite. <laughs> um, in the front, I definitely have another notebook. Um, this one, I definitely just want to use for YouTube. It's YouTube only. That's my goal is to just have one space, one spot strictly for YouTube. I can put all of my YouTube ideas and then I don't have to worry about anyone seeing it because I'm never going to flip through it. I'm always going to flip past it. Um, I swapped out the strings for blue elastic. I went ahead and purchased like some string elastic from this store um that store action they had like these different kind of elastics so i definitely like swatched them out um from the brown to the blue one i just thought that one was so cute to go with my kind of setup because once you see what my setup looks like you'll be like oh okay that's kind of cute but um i took out the tn the and why is this so hard? The Passport TN pocket and stuck it in the folder, it took the zip off because the zip was driving me crazy. I just use it to keep um, extra like filler paper, like note filler paper in here. It's just a little bit, not a lot. And then some decorative stuff in here. And then I took it out mainly for the card um, thing because there are like some card pockets in there. So that is mainly why I took it out. But, um, yeah, if I want to use it, if I want to put my credit cards or something in here, I can definitely do so, or business cards, 
or what have you. So I definitely took out my pullout inserts and shifted things around and I definitely opened up my 2020 pack and was super thirsty to put that into play. Um, I put it in here, I set it up and I'm so happy that I did because it just makes me want to use this planner even more now, but I did go ahead and keep in the 2019 inserts that I'm currently using. I just shipped everything to the back and took out the unnecessary. So kept the fly leaf in the front that I decorated with the vinyl stickers, only this time I added a foiled, um, I've added a foiled journaling card, which I showed in the video that I just uploaded in my personal so like i was mentioning i have a paper pack that has a bunch of different kind of paper in it with like journaling cards and whatnot and i just cut down the ones that i liked this one just says sunshine on my mind and i thought it was so cute you'll see a couple of these throughout my planner this does turn um but um it's kind of like uh it's kind of like i don't know I'll, I had to take some things out of my planner because they just kept falling out. I have to find a way to kind of like keep them in there for the time being. It, it does turn. The only problem with it turning right now is that I have the notebook in the back, but it does turn when I do lay this down and lay it flat. So um, like I said, the journaling card and the fly leaf, and then I just have the um, Filofax sheet in the front. The pink one I just shifted to the back. You'll see that I shifted everything for the rest of 2019 to the back. And then look, surprise, surprise, I have all of my tabs on the side here. Um, I'm actually not against these tabs because they are not paper tabs. They're laminated, so it's not just the paper. And then on top of that, they're super small and they're really close together. So it's a lot different than it would have been in my personal rings. So I think that's why I like them more in the pocket. Um, I definitely kept in this little thing here in the front. I'm keeping this in. This is going with me from planner to planner. I do not care um, what, pl what planner I'm in. This is by far my favorite because it acts as a page lifter because it's made of plastic. It's just like a thin plastic, but it is my favorite. It just protects the paper so well. Um, once you get through that, you get to your first sheet, which is the holiday symbols. So this is the American one. And it also has... Um, it also has the different country ones, but these are the holiday symbols that it's showing throughout the planner. I could have opted to get the German one, but this one was the English pack. So everything in here is all in English. It does have some of the different languages, but mainly English is the one. Um, so yeah, I just decided to go with the English one. Um, so after you get through the holiday symbol sheet, on the back there's just some lined paper. Um, I don't know why they do that a lot in here. Instead of just leaving something blank, they put lined paper on it. I guess if you want to take a note or if you want to jot something down. All of these dividers are roughly the same symbol, just different color. So we won't have to go too deep into that. Um, I have all of the months in here. So January... Um, all the way through December. Um, on the back of each divider, there is a calendar, a small to-do section at the bottom, and then also a note section. And then starting into the week, there is um, a lined, lined side on the back of that. So let's see. It's like stuck together because it's really brand new. So I'm trying to like turn it without like dropping my planner. But um, this is what the weekly spreads look like. So I'm so happy that I decided to go with the illustrated version because I was contemplating on whether or not I wanted to stick with the version that I have. But I really, really, really love the illustrated version. It just adds a lot of color, a ton of color to this already simple planner. 
Um, you have your month view up at the top. It's a little different from the month view that I am currently seeing in the inserts that I'm using from Filofax already. I like that they have the three month views at the top. And then I like also that they are lined weekly and not just, you know, blank or, you know, like there's no line. I'm, I'm saying that I don't not like that. I do not like that. But I just appreciate having the lines here. Um, and then also I appreciate that there's not a lot of wording all over the place. It's in English for the most part. There are different languages a little bit on the side, but it's not overly um, crazy like the other Filofax inserts. So all of the inserts look like this. The only difference that I did is once you get to June, I added a journaling card which just says hello summer and this is just in the foiled one. They also have one that's not foiled, it's just purple um, in that journaling pack but I went ahead and added in the journaling card for summer and then also in November all of these change um, different colors, by the way, if you have never seen the illustrated file effects inserts. Um, for November, I went ahead and added in a thank you um, journaling card. And this was because November is the month of thanks. It is Thanksgiving. And so what fitting word than thank you. So I just added in a thank you journaling card. Once you get past all of the months, so to say, um, once you get past all of those, I added in some um, decorative craft paper, which is seen a lot throughout my personal planner. This is from that Disney pack that I was referencing a lot. This is with Daphne Duck. This was um, her spread. It just says pink vibes and there's flamingos and her and her whole little get up. I thought this was so cute because my whole planner is pink and it just says pink vibes and I just thought it was super duper cute. Um, once you get past this divider, you go into the to-do section. Now the to-dos are a whole lot different than the to-dos that are currently being housed in um, the back of my planner or no in my file facts old inserts it's definitely different than those these to do's actually have the dots on this side versus the left side and then also at the bottom they leave a section for notes I could have did without the notes I really could have just stuck with the to do's because this particular paper pack gives you so many like it gives you so many um, spaces to just write things down. So I don't necessarily think they needed to have an extra to do in there or extra note, but it does give you that. And they give you quite a bit in different colors. And then um, once you get to the back, I just have the old to do's that came with the file facts that I was already using. So I appreciate the new ones because the lines are a lot smaller, um, but I definitely love the old ones too, just because, you know, they're just simple, um, just simple all the way around and they don't have like a lot going on. So I definitely appreciate the new ones. Um, the blank after you get past this is the blank, but before you get past it, you have um, some craft paper. This is out of a different one. This is the textured one. And again, it's like little glitter on here. The camera isn't picking it up, but there is glitter all over the sheet. And then once you get past it, you go into what is like the note section. So there is a blank and lined sheets. There's no grid this time, just blank and lined. Um, I actually may purchase grid, but I don't necessarily think I need it. Um, I do have a ton of the Filofax uh, note paper, just the regular note paper. So I have a ton of that. So if I ever run out of this, I can definitely run to that. So um, yeah just put that stuff in here and 
after you get past this, I'll show you what one of the blank ones look like. So this is the blank insert. Um, I do kind of like that they've given you a border. It doesn't make it so boring. It's definitely a lot of pop of color. But the blank ones, I could have done without the borders. But I definitely do love it. So I'm not saying I hate it. I just could have done without a few things. But after you get past this, um, you close it off and this is where I'm housing um, 2019 inserts right now. So this is the section for 2019 in the back. So right here is just out of a paper pack. It has like this texture type of paper again and it's like glitter on the little colored dots here. And then you have my clear fly leaf that I've been moving from pocket to pocket. I just took off some of the things and repositioned some of the stickers and then stuck behind it a journaling card that says best things in life are free. Um, <laughs> the best things in life are free, but some things free, free is not always good. So, I mean, I just put this in here. I just like to have little quotes and things throughout the planner. These are things that I always want to have in here. I'm not big on like deco and like frilly stuff all over my planner, but just a little bit of cutesy is okay. And then once you get past um, that, these are the 2019 inserts. So I still wanted to use this planner, but I took out all of the unnecessary and I kept in everything for 2019 so as you can see 2019 is almost out we are in the 11th month which means we only have one more month to go um and then these are the inserts that were currently being used so i'm still using these inserts um right now i think this was like a week ago still using these inserts i really love these inserts the way they look um, compared to um, what the new ones are going to look like with the calendars up at the top. So this time, instead of using this for like um, just notes, because on the new ones it says notes, but on this one it says this week. So I'm just, I'm going to stick with my quotes in there. Definitely going to stick with my quotes. Um, and then in the back, I just have like, the phone book section, the monthly. So I kept the monthly in here, the monthlies that I created um, because this particular set didn't come with a monthly. So I kept the monthly inserts that I created in here just to kind of, you know, end the year out um, with, you know, the inserts that I'm using um, and then after that, I have the small notes section in the back. This is roughly the notes. This is all the note paper from 2019 inserts that I've kept in here. And I don't think that I will swatch out or do anything different within the note section because I don't need a lot of the note paper in here because I've swapped out my notebooks. Um, still housing my phone numbers in here, still keeping this folder in here, this um, ruler, and then this is a fly leaf, which housed my sticky notes. So you didn't see this, but they kind of fell off when I was flipping through this. These are the sticky notes that were sticking like right here. The These are like, what is this? marble sticky notes they were sticking like right here and it kept falling off so i'm gonna have to figure out how to stick these on without them falling off also there's like some little sticky stuff here from like when i had the other sticky notes on here so another reason why i want to cover that up in this pocket it's just housing like flags market dots um little die cuts from the what was it vintage collection and some halloween stickers leftover halloween stickers all that stuff my codes are in the second uh, top loading pocket more labels and little 
dots, some receipts, <laughs> and then the back of that, and then you go into my notebook. So really, this would turn a whole lot better if this notebook in the back was in here taking up its space. This is all of my inserts that are in here. It definitely is chunked out all the way. It's super chunked out. I so love it. Um, apparently, you all love it too. So if you have not, definitely try it. I definitely recommend that you go ahead and try and chunk out your pocket. It's not damaging your rings at all because what's inside the rings are not being you know the rings aren't being expanded as they would be if um i had a lot of stuff going on in my ring so i don't know if you guys can see very closely but there's no gapping in the rings like none there's no gapping at all and that's because my rings are overly stuffed but I've decided to find different ways to chunk out my planner and adding strings with notebooks is how I did it. So yeah, guys, that is my pocket. Um, be sure to leave me your comments down below if you have any suggestions whatsoever or if you have anything um, you wanna see, just yeah, leave everything down in the comment section below. And as always guys, thank you so much for rocking out with me um, this Sunday and yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.